I'm Peter Benchley. When I wrote a novel called Jaws, I was faced with a fascinating challenge. How to describe the instincts of a beast that is so perfect that it has never needed to evolve. Well, to write about sharks is one thing, but to venture into their world is something else. From his early years, Peter's love and understanding of the ocean and its creatures came naturally and were reinforced throughout the rest of his life. He was one of our great ocean people, uh, bringing the ocean to the public in a way that they could access, in a way that they could get engaged with. Since 1960, hundreds of people have reached the summit of Mount Everest. More than a dozen astronauts have touched the surface of the moon, but only two men have reached the deepest part of the ocean. Peter never saw himself as an expert, so he sought the wisdom, counsel, and friendship of leading marine scientists and photojournalists. He immersed himself intellectually and physically in learning about Earth's largest, most important habitat from every vantage point. Diving and adventuring around the world, Peter and I witnessed the changes occurring in the sea. 40 years ago, we all thought that it was invulnerable, that it was eternal. There was nothing man could do to, to destroy it or even to damage it. We thought all fish populations would come back, and they may, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. We joined with hundreds of others to work on the issues of overfishing, destruction of habitats, and using the ocean as a dumping ground. We know now that if we don't stop the decline, we may damage our planet irreparably, economically, environmentally, and even existentially. Most important, we must begin to think differently about these wonderful creatures, to see them for what they really are. It just moves with this grace and power. I have, no, I've never seen an animal like that in my life. 